Hello Model Railroad fans, welcome to Vintage Road and Rail. In today's video we're going to take a look at a six pack of beer cars. And you can see the box for it right here. Uh, and it's got in big bold uh, letters the word beer. And we can see it's a limited edition exclusive uh, box set. And our number is 98706. I'm guessing that's the stock or order number. And we can see that it's a six-pack assortment of 41-foot beer or reefer beer cars. And right over here, let me move this down a little bit. Uh, it shows what the package contains. So, uh, first point it says it's a gift box six-pack display case, which I have no idea what that looks like. And it's got six different collectors uh, beer cars. Uh, each of those are individually sealed in a blister pack. And this has knuckle couplers, which I wished I had noticed yesterday because it caused me a bit of an issue when I went to shoot this video. Uh, and it's got these included road names. And we'll go over that again, but let's just run through them real quick. American Made Beer, Cook's 500 Beer, uh, One Sound State Beer, Black Forest Brewery, Land of Lakes Beer, Straight 8 Beer. And that's pretty much the front. And there's not a whole lot to see on the rest of the packaging, but let's go around anyway. So I'm going to lift up the tripod. So it just basically has that information that you also saw on the front. And in the back, pretty much the same thing, but with less detail. It doesn't have the rundown of what's uh, included. And this side is pretty much identical to the last. And nothing really here to see. And I was curious, I, I didn't really do a big hard search on it as to when this was made, but obviously it's new enough that it's got Facebook and a QR, a QR code on it. So that was kind of interesting. And there's the top. And this is still sealed, so I'm hoping... <laughs> I forgot to bring my knife with me that this will be enough to uh, open it up. Alright, so let me go ahead and break the seal on this collector set. This little screwdriver will handle that little piece of tape easily enough. It's what's inside that's got me worried. Alright. And in the top, we just have this piece here taking up space and <laughs> this is pretty neat I like this all right so now I've pulled out the six pack and if anybody's ever had a beer it looks like a six pack you got the little carry handle and the whole nine yards and you can see our uh, cars right here Not entirely sure what this is right here. Looks like it's, oh, if you want to take this out of this package, you can actually just hang these on the hooks. All right, so let's set that aside here. All right, so let's get a better look. Uh, this is what I'm going to call the front. Six-pack assortment. And if we turn it this way, we can see the Land of Lakes beer. The straight eight beer and the Cooks 500. And let's turn it around to the other side. And we've got the American made. Let me make sure I get it in camera here. Black Forest and the One Sound State. All right, so let's pull one of these out and see what they're talking about with this blister pack. which is going to be a pain in the rear end to get out. I don't know why they would have put it in there like that. I'll show you in just a second. I'm just kind of poking at it here. All right, excuse me. The weather keeps changing, messing with my sinuses. All right, so this is the American Made Beer. And it's sealed up in one of these stupid, stupid things here. So I'm, in order to get this out, I'm gonna have to actually get scissors and I can hear the weight rattling around inside. So let me just pull each of them out real quick and show you what they look like in a little blister pack. Then I'll stop the camera 
and see if there's some scissors. I'm up at the model railroad club, so I didn't anticipate needing scissors. So there's the black forest and its blister pack. And here's the one sound state beer. Which I must say I'm a little disappointed that they're like like that. I would have paid a little bit extra to have plastic cases, kind of like the in scale cars come in, you know, because then you could, when not in use, you could display it in this six pack. But with this, I have no choice but to get them out to ruin these little blister packs. There's the Land of Lakes. And straight eight. And the last one is Cook's 500. All right, so let me go ahead and stop the video right here and uh, I'll hunt up a pair of scissors and I'll go ahead and just open all of these and be done with it and then we'll take a closer look and then we will take them out to the layout here at the uh, Central Ohio Model Railroad Club and give them a run. See how they look on the layout. I'll be right back. All right, I've got them all out of their packaging and I don't mind telling you that was a pain to get them out of those blister packs. I hate those types of packs. I don't care if it's a remote control TV, you know, for your TV or whatever where you have them sealed in those blister packs and you have to get scissors or a knife to get them out. Uh, so, and since I was up here at the train club, I couldn't find scissors. So after a little bit of work, I finally got them out. But anyway, enough on that. Let's take a look at these uh, cars. So we're gonna look at one in detail. Um, since they're all identical, that will pretty much cover what you'd expect to find on all these cars. And then after that, we'll just get a closer look at what you will see with each of these individually. So let me just raise this up just a little bit so I have a little bit of room to to work in this space here. All right, so let's start with the one that I kind of think is going to be my favorite uh, because I just like the color of blue. All right, and over here we got Land of Lakes beer. Uh, and over here we've got Pilsen Brewing Company. All right, so we've got, uh, you can see, the molded in detail for this ladder. And we've got some here for these grab irons here. On this end, we've got more molded in detail. And pretty much the same story as the other side on this side. And here we've got a little bit of additional molded in detail because we've got our brake wheel and all the lines and everything that would connect onto the car to control the brakes. And on our roof, you can see we've got our four hatches to load up the ice and a roof walk here. And on the bottom, we've got a little bit of molded in detail, uh, your brake cylinders and stuff of that nature, and some molded in uh, hoses and piping and, and the such and as mentioned on the box on the outside you've got knuckle couplers and you've got those on each end obviously and while it does have plastic wheels it does have screw-on trucks and has the metal axles uh, kind of like what you would have found in your old school blue box Athern kits or your roundhouse kits uh, so while they're not metal wheels they're definitely better than the plastic wheels you would have found in the old Tyco and lifelike stuff, you know, the 70s and 80s. All right, so that's a detailed look of that car. So let's now move on to One Sound State Beer from Reno Brewing Company in Reno, Nevada. And the other side is pretty much identical, or actually it is identical, know pretty much about it. And we can see we've got the same molded in detail. So we'll just give a look at both sides. We'll set that aside. And this is probably my second favorite one. You got this straight eight beer. And this is Spearman Brewing Company. And this is out of Pensacola, Florida. It's looking pretty good on both sides. The lettering and the detail is sharp and crisp. Would look really good on a beer train. All right, 
And then we've got Black Forest Brewing. And this is an amber beer. And uh, it's from Farmdale, New York, looks like. And it's got a website on there. Just out of curiosity, when I get home, I'm going to look that up. And the other side, looking good as well. All right. And let's now go to Cook's 500. And I'm not at all surprised to see that this is in Indiana with this, uh, with this uh, Indy 500 uh, design here for this ale. And there's the other side. And finally, let's go to Altoona, Pennsylvania for Altoona Brewing Company. And we got American Made Beer. Nice looking car. I love the, uh, the yellow. It almost has a Anheuser-Busch look to it. And I like the blue ends. I didn't catch that earlier that they were blue. So really nice looking car. All right, so before we take these out on the layout and give them a test run, uh, and speaking of test run, we're going to hook up to this CSX caboose and my trusty SD35 CSX locomotive. Uh, I wanted to use a model power locomotive, and I actually brought one with me, but it's this one here, which runs really well. It's an F3 or F2, I'm sorry, and uh, but I noticed it has the horn hook couplers, and I was going to put knuckle couplers on there, but that's really kind of one of my best pulling engines, or running engines, I should say, that have the horn hooks on them, so I'll have to just to leave that and just go with uh, my good old SD35. Now, as far as this set is concerned, you can still kind of see them here. Let me move them all to where you can somewhat see them. Uh, this is not really a review, but if I were reviewing this, uh, I would recommend getting the set because I think it looks good and I think it would look fantastic um, either just displayed, if you like displaying some of your stuff, or, you know, why put it up on a, on a shelf and let it be a shelf princess? Um, put it on your layout and run it. It's going to look great. But the two knocks that I would give it, um, one is that every single weight inside these things is flopping around. They did not do a good job of sealing the weights. So when I get home, I'm going to have to pop these apart and super glue those weights into place. Um, and they could probably benefit from about a half ounce of extra weight to bring them up to uh, NMRA standards. But my biggest gripe is this is built as a collector set. And as such... Collector sets, people oftentimes collect them. Surprise, surprise. So I think packaging that you shouldn't have to butcher, you know, to get them out. I managed to do it in such a way that if I want to, I can get them back in by removing three sides and leaving the one, and it kind of hinges open. So I can put them back in, but you can see that I've had to butcher them up a bit to get them out. And I just think that that's poor that's a lack of forethought on uh, model powers um, part. You know, me personally, like I'd mentioned earlier, if they had put them in the hard plastic clamshells that you get with like N scale cars, uh, even if it costs five or ten dollars more, it would be worth it because you know they would be well protected and you could easily display them and you could easily take them off a of display, run them, and put them back. All right, well, enough about all that. Let me get all of this over to the layout, get it all set up, and then we will I'll get rather some uh, footage of these going around the layout. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm all set up on the uh, layout here, and you can probably hear the locomotive. It's just out of camera. So I figured a great place to, to stage these cars is in front of Al's... Uh, ice house so they're all iced up and the locomotive is now backed into the siding and ready to hook up to our cars so let's go ahead and hook up and pull out
should see her now. All right, we've got them. Let's go into forward. I want to just make sure we got a connection. And we do. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this train out. Got two switches to go through to get on the main line. So let's just take it slow. All right, well, while these cars are pulling out, I uh, hope you enjoyed taking a look at this um, Model Power collector set and having to speak up over this locomotive. Um, I think it's a very beautiful set. Would look good in any collection and on any layout. Um, so if you can come across this at a reasonable price, I think I paid $49.99 for it, uh, which is not bad for six cars, absolutely pick it up. You'll love it. All right, well... Thank you very much for joining me today here at Vintage Road and Rail. If you like this video, make sure and hit that like button, subscribe. If you have these, uh, let me know in the comments what you think of them. And until next time, happy model railroading, guys. Take care.